It is November 4th. You are in front of your computer, checking the updates, <laughs> letting your anxiety go through the roof. I thought my time would be better spent out here blasting birds. It's a bit challenging today because the winds are kind of all over the place. It says light and variable, but oh, hang on, hang on. We got, uh, we got birds. We got birds. GoPro, stop recording. They're landing um, on the wire a lot. That is an electrical wire, one that I don't want to cut. So if I'm going to err, I'm going to err on the side of caution, and I'm going to miss over the top of them. It beats the heck out of cutting a wire. I don't think an air gun actually would, probably. But I have done it with a 22 long rifle at the farm. I have cut it, snapped her right in half. So it is possible. So that said, I'm going to miss a few on those wires, because I'm going to be aiming high. Oh yeah. He's a little further out than I thought. About 50 yards out, maybe 60. Did I hit him to the right or the left? If you could tell me that, that would help me a lot with my next shot. By the way, if you haven't seen this, this is my new Utah Air Guns customized impact. It was actually my impact, I sent them the bits and pieces and they colored them for me and this gun has beaten my 30 caliber in two out of three contests so far so this might very well be my new most accurate gun this is an element scope the nexus the high-end one with the ehr 1c reticle we got one behind us in the big tree And I think I got a little bit of that. Oh, come on! Give me one of those birds! Ah, oh, shit. I'm rusty. I admit that. Pigeons out there. Yeah. Don't screw this up, Ted. Take your time. Yes. You aren't going anywhere. Yeah, the shot was lethal. He's dead now. I want that other guy to go land by him. Come on, land by your buddy. No. Yep, 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 yep. Do it, do it. That wasn't a super clean hit. I think I hit him low, but you can tell by his legs dangling like that, that means they're in deep sh So two meh hits, but I'll be two birds in the bag for sure. All right, let's have a look at those birdies. So that's a heavy one, he's a big boy. So that first one I shot, I, I corned him. I mean, I don't know how you put one better than that. I must not have hit a vital or didn't get him in the heart, got him in the lungs. But in any event, uh, yeah, he didn't, like I said, he wasn't gonna get very far. Hang on, there's two starlings out there, sorry. GoPro, start recording. A lot of ammo.
I didn't have that one focus as good as I should have, but he got him. <laughs> so that's the first one. I don't know, he's a tough guy. He did a round or two and then came down to the same spot. It was too hard of a hit though for him to get back up in the air. He didn't get far. I think you probably saw that on camera. The other guy that I got, it went in right about here and came out his backside. So it kind of quartered through him like, like that. So that's when you see them legs drop like that. Usually you got a piece of the lower spine or some kind of nervous bundle in there where the legs just go dangly. That bird's doomed, it's flying dead. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Starlings do it quite often when you hit them low. Fly away, legs dangling, roll and tumble, and then about 15 seconds after they crash, they're dead. But these two boys will come home with me. By the way, if you're curious how I clean pigeons, uh, which is a very simplified way of doing it, I'll put a link in the video description down below. It's at the end of that pigeon hunting video. Can't it, there we go. Yes. Yes. Finally. Still hanging? Yep, still hanging. Hello, what's all this thing? Yeah, you're not happy about that, are you? Oh, this is gonna be pretty. There we go. Are you a house sparrow? You are. Goodbye. More now? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> yeah, the election was yesterday, and uh, today I'm sure everyone is very uncomfortable, very anxious. But I try to remind myself this. Trump supporters cannot get through their day without some kind of help from somebody who supports Biden. Biden supporters cannot get through their day without someone that supports Trump. This doesn't work without everyone. So before you wish you know, ill will or God forbid death on someone, just consider the fact that your packages are delivered by someone who probably doesn't think like you. Your food is made by someone who might not think like you. Your roads are built by someone who might not think like you. I love y'all. Every damn one of you. Even the stupid ones. <laughs> In all seriousness, uh, let's try to be good to each other. The politicians are going to do what they're going to do. And we shouldn't be dragged into their mud pit with them. Please, be good to each other. You know, in, in times of trouble, what can bring people together would be a common enemy. And I think I have one. This, this is our common enemy. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be getting dehydrated. Come on, hurry up, Ted. Ah, I'm so slow. There we go. Ah. Oh.